everyone and welcome. In this video, we are going to be creating the first data store in an ESXi host. I'm going to start by opening Firefox and I'm going to navigate to my first ESXi host. And we'll log in as the root user. This step is something that may or may not be necessary, so we'll take a look and find out first. What we're looking for is over on the navigation besides storage, whether this number is zero or one. If it's one, you don't need to worry about this, but if it's zero, it's something we need to do. And this one's zero, so it's something we need to do. I'm gonna minimize Firefox and launch Putty. It's the first time I've launched that. And I'm going to put in the IP of my ESXi one host. And I'm actually going to save that so I don't have to punch in the IP every time I'm going to use it. And we will open. This is the first time we've connected. So we have to accept the self-signed certificate. And I'm going to log in as the root user. and we're into ESXi. Now what we need to do is put in a command that is going to force the rescan of all of the available storage so that that will be available to us to create a data store. Okay, so there's a command, we'll run that. It takes pretty much no time at all. We will exit out of our secure shell session and back into Firefox. So I'm going to, on storage, right click, new data store, create a new VMFS data store, click on next. We have to give it a name. This is going to be data store one. We have our SSD here, uh, 40 gigabytes. That is actually the disk that's created on the ESXi VM. We'll go next. We have the opportunity here to use either all or part of that disk. We're gonna use all of it. Click on next, gives us a summary, finish, and it gives us the warning that it's going to use the entire disk and erase it, which we wanna do. Say yes, that finishes quite quickly. We can see over here on storage now that we have one data store. Here it is, uh, slightly less than 40 gigabytes because of the overhead. And that's all we need to do. It's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.